Very good morning to Dominic Raab, who's still reeling from the worst cabinet minister's holiday since Priti Patel took a mini break and accidentally met half the Israeli government in a series of unauthorised secret meetings. We're now at the stage where Dominic Raab is insisting he was working really, really hard on his holiday in Crete and he definitely, definitely wasn't paddleboarding because... And the, the stuff about me being lounging around on the beach all day, just nonsense. Uh, the, the stuff about me paddleboarding, nonsense. The sea was actually closed. It was a, a red notice. <laughs> the sea was closed. All right, all right. Although I realise uh, you may have had enough of uh, Dominic Raab and what Luke Jones would call his... day. In fact... I want to address something which came uh, from uh, out of yesterday's show. Uh, when I was talking to Finkelvich, uh, we were talking about Dominic Raab and all of that, and I said this. Well, there's an amazing stat, which I think I first saw on Question Time last week. Lisa Nandy, the shadow uh, foreign secretary, Dominic Raab's opposite number, had never mentioned the word Afghanistan in the House of Commons until Parliament was recalled last week. Sure. So it's not like the opposition were particularly across this. Uh, and I'm sorry, I got it wrong. It's much worse than I thought, because uh, a few people got in touch on the Twitter, always very polite on the Twitter, and said I was being unfair on Lisa Nandy and I should listen to what she actually said on Question Time last week. So I did. Let's just unpick what she said. First of all, because this has largely been led by the Ministry of Defence, I'm the Shadow Foreign Secretary, not the Shadow Defence Secretary. OK, then, well, what has Shadow Defence Secretary John Healy been doing? My colleague John Healy, who is the Shadow Defence Secretary, has raised this a number of times over the last few months. Uh, that's just not true. Uh, John Healy is ra has, hasn't raised it a number of times. He's mentioned Afghanistan twice in the House of Commons since April. Once when a Conservative MP secured a government statement on it on April the 20th. And then once on his own initiative on July the 5th. He hasn't tabled a single written question on the subject of the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Uh, that's not a number of times. Well, we've tried to raise it and I have tabled a number of urgent questions to try to drag the Foreign Secretary to the House of Commons in order to answer questions about this. They've never been granted. And it's within the government's gift how they control that. That's just wrong. It's not in the government's gift at all. It's the Speaker's decision on whether to grant an urgent question, not the government's. And although urgent questions in the chamber can be turned down by the Speaker, uh, Lisa Nandy hasn't tabled a single written question on Afghanistan, which the government would have to answer. She also didn't raise Afghanistan at Foreign Office questions on April the 20th, June the 15th or July the 20th. Again, all within her gift. And I myself was in touch with Dominic Raab. Well, that's good then. Uh, when was that? To try to get an urgent briefing over the summer, to which he didn't even bother to reply to the email. We've since found out why, because it okay. turned out that he was in holiday. Right, so the first time that the Shadow Foreign Secretary, who's been out and about criticising the government, asked for a briefing was when the Taliban was sweeping across Afghanistan and Dominic Raab was on holiday, although he was working very hard, of course, because... The sea was actually closed. The sea was actually closed. Uh, Sir Keir Starmer has also not raised it at all at any week of Prime Minister's questions, despite, again, the choice being entirely of his own choosing. In fact, the MP, the Labour MP, who's been the most active on the subject of the withdrawal from Afghanistan, it might well be Tan Desai, who's tabled nine questions to ministers on it, and he's the shadow rail minister. So, listen, the government has made a total hash of this. They knew when Donald Trump did the deal with the Taliban. They knew uh, when on April the 14th, Joe Biden confirmed that the troop withdrawal would happen by August the 31st. And then they all, the prime minister, cabinet ministers, senior government officials, all appear to have gone on holiday for mid-August, a fortnight before the withdrawal was going to happen. And I'll admit here on this show... We've covered Afghanistan intermittently in the last few months, but probably not enough. But we've actually discussed it more than the official opposition has raised it in the House of Commons. So, yes, ask Dominic Raab questions about his paddleboarding and all of that. But on this one, Labour is up you know where without a paddle as well.